This is Brand Insider. We take you inside brands, thought leaders, and innovators to discover strategies, insight, and perspective that help drive success in today's market. Ken Chaplin is the Senior Vice President of Marketing at Experian Consumer Services, the leading provider of online consumer credit-related information and protection products. He is also responsible for marketing communications and operations for multiple company brands, including FreeCreditScore.com. Ken shares his insight and experience on how complex subjects can become fun and entertaining marketing campaigns. Shot on location at the Crown Plaza, Costa Mesa, Orange County. I was led to my uh, current position uh, about a year and a half ago when I joined Experian Consumer Services uh, from Crocs Footwear. I uh, joined Crocs Footwear uh, early days and uh, had the pleasure of helping turn that brand around from fad status to uh, icon, if you will, within the footwear industry. Prior to that, I spent 12 years with the Walt Disney Company uh, in various marketing and consumer products roles. Currently, I'm Senior Vice President and CMO for Experian Consumer Services here in Costa Mesa. My role involves uh, marketing the brands FreeCreditScore.com, CreditReport.com, ProtectMyID, and Experian.com. Within the financial services world, we define complex uh, subjects as those that uh, consumers don't uh, interact with necessarily every day. Uh, for me specifically, that means credit reports and credit scores, things that uh, consumers are aware of but not necessarily understand what goes into uh, to their credit score or to their credit report. Complex products can, can be defined as, uh, as many different things, um, from insurance to uh, stocks and financial instruments, um, other sorts of things within banking uh, certainly fall into that. But even outside of it, um, the complex products could be uh, sound systems, electronics, um, uh, technical types of things that people don't necessarily understand how they work, they're just grateful that they do. Marketers of complex products face various challenges. Uh, most notably is defining that need within their consumer's mindset. Um, oftentimes, uh, defining a complex product uh, it requires a, a long conversation and a long dialogue with a potential consumer to help educate them on the features, advantages, and benefits of that product. Uh, this is often an expensive and cumbersome uh, path that, uh, that requires patience, engagement, and compelling content to engage the consumer in understanding the value of that which you're trying to sell. There are many different paths to take when, when in endeavoring to talk about complex products with uh, potential consumers. Certainly the technical route uh, is one, um, and again, per my earlier comments, that, that can oftentimes be boring and, and not necessarily something that's compelling for a consumer. The other path and, and the path that I've uh, chosen to uh, pursue is around humor and engagement through entertaining content. So making the, making the, uh, the spots, the, uh, the content, the um, dialogue something that's memorable, something that people uh, can engage with, relate to, and understand after they've consumed it uh, will help then in the conversion path much later. So when, when communicating and talking about complex products and if, if one should choose to take a humorous role, um, that does often endeavor risks. Um, sometimes topics such as burglary, identity theft, uh, even auto insurance or home insurance uh, could be seen as things that uh, people shouldn't joke around about. However, you know, we found and, and as have other companies that when the content and the message is engaging in a way that takes away some of that fear factor, uh, we find consumers um, appreciate that. They, they don't like to be scared into making a purchase. They want to be talked to like adults, they want to be entertained, uh, and they want that engagement to be something memorable. So with, uh, instead of trying to scare people that if their identity is stolen, they'll be homeless and living on the street, sometimes we take a more humorous approach on perhaps uh, what would the individual who stole your identity do with it. Um, and, and this certainly has a variety of different sorts of messaging and content and story building around uh, that type of dialogue. That wraps up this edition of Brand Insider. Thanks for watching, and be sure to let us hear from you. Brand Insider, are you in?